I'm Barack Obama. <laughs> Before I say anything else, I want to ask you all to contact your congressman and urge him to support my jobs bill. Because I firmly believe that in just a few months, I'm going to need a job. <laughs> Of course, a key component to that jobs bill has to do with small business. You ask me, Mr. President, how can I start a small business in this economy? And I have an answer for you. You start a big business, and then you wait. <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm pleased to be here tonight. Pleased to be so close to home. Though I've heard some complaints from some people suggesting that perhaps... I spend a little bit too much of my time on the road and not enough of my time in the White House. But I will remind you all that I live with my mother-in-law. <laughs> you know, uh, just a little while ago, just a, over a couple of weeks ago, the Supreme Court surprised me by uh, upholding my, the individual mandate on my health care plan. I was a little concerned about it. I was unsure why there was a, so much problem with the individual mandate to begin with, but someone explained to me that there are some people who were concerned that mandates were something you had before you had a gay marriage. <laughs> you know, I, I, I did mention earlier uh, that in May that my opinion about gay marriage had undergone a bit of an evolution. And uh, I knew it was going to be controversial when I said it. I knew that there are a lot of people in this country who are still very uncomfortable with the whole concept of uh, evolution. <laughs> Didn't want to get onto something a little more substantive, substantive tonight. I want you to know that we are keeping a very close eye on the situation in the Middle East as the aftermath of the Arab Spring continues to play itself out there. Our hearts go out to the people of Syria who are struggling in the face of tremendous uncertainty. They know as well as we do that even should they be successful in ousting Bashar al-Assad, he may simply be replaced by his brother, Jeb al-Assad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at the beginning of May I had an important anniversary. May the 2nd was the anniversary of the day that I single-handedly captured and killed Osama bin Laden. <laughs> this is important information for you to have. I mean, whatever happens in, in November, this is my last campaign. And uh, so, uh, you know, if you were big fans of Osama bin Laden, you might not want to vote for me. But for the rest of you, I do have a few further details on that event. I had some disagreements with things that Osama said. He saw himself as living while I sort of saw him dead. So we sent some Navy SEALs in to shoot him in the face. And once they had him reeled in, gave him a last resting place under the sea. That's where he'll be. Slugs. Now he's with sea slugs permanently. Now that he's down there in the dark, a sushi platter for the sharks. He'll swim with sturgeons instead of virgins. What's my next action? How's this reaction? I won't refuse to send a Fox News crew under the sea. 